Okay, hello again. My name is Josh Beck. Uh, I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. Work with a program called IMAC. We're a seventh grade uh, technology magnet school uh, located within the Northeast Independent School District. This is lesson five in our uh, series on the blender. This is designed for the seventh grade students in my class, but uh, it will work for just about anybody who's just getting started with the blender, especially this introductory series of lessons. So uh, in lessons one through four, what we did was we developed this basic setup. We've got a cube, we've got a sphere, we've got a sun lamp, like a spotlight, pointing through the sphere uh, and the cube, and then we've got a lamp. Now we created a basic 30 frame animation, and if I hit Alt A, it'll play just a frame 30 right there, and I'll hit Escape to stop. Um, and if I hit 0 to go to camera view, this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, so uh, the plan for this lesson is we're going to extend this animation out to 120 frames so the camera goes all the way around the cube and the sphere. And then we're going to go in and we're going to edit the path so that the camera takes a nice smooth motion around the cube and the sphere so there's no, um, you know, strange wobbling or anything like that. All right, so the first step is to go to frame 30 which is where we left off last time, and watch what happens when I do that. The camera's going to jump up to our final frame. And realistically, um, we should probably go to frame 60 because we're going to make uh, our next uh, position there. So uh, frame 60, and I'm going to hit the G key, and I'm going to swing the camera around, and I'm going to position it where I wanted it, frame 60. We're going to say right about there. Now, intentionally, I'm not going to position the camera perfectly so that we can go back and fix it later. I'm going to hit the R key. I'm going to hit the Z key. There we go. All right, I'm going to rotate it. I'll get it just, you know, nice and straight at least. All right, uh, the next move, once we're at frame 60 and we have the camera positioned, is I'm going to hit the I key, and I'm going to choose L-O-C-R-O-T to lock the location and the rotation angle of the camera right there. Okay, so the next move then is to move out to frame 90. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to move it to a different spot, say right about there. Once again, I'm going to R and Z. Swing the camera around. Try to get that cube and sphere right in the center there. And I'm going to choose the I key. I'm going to choose L-O-T-R-O-C. And we're going to go out to frame 120. I'm going to grab the camera, and we're going to make our final swing at it here take it to right about here. I'm going to choose the R, I'm going to choose Z, and I'm going to get the camera facing the cube, and hit 0 to take a look, R, Z, just straighten it up just a little bit, and I'm going to choose I to lock the location and the rotation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to the first keyframe, and let's watch our animation. Camera moves up to 30, we're at frame 60, we're at frame 90, we're at frame 120. There it is. Okay, so now uh, let's take a look at that through the uh, camera one time. It looks okay, but we're going up and down, and there you go. That's a little bit strange right there at the end. It's not a perfect circle. It doesn't maintain a nice orbit around the object, and that's what we're going to do next. So what we do is we get a nice view on top of everything, and I'm going to hit the K key on the keyboard, and that's going to show our keyframes. Now these olive-colored objects here are the camera, is, is the camera, at its different locations. And by going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I can move all the way out to keyframe 30. All right. And keyframe 30 is, it's OK. I like it. I'm going to leave key, keyframe 30 alone. Let's go to keyframe 60. And there's the camera. So it's kind of nice to be able to use the K and look at all your different keyframes because you can see where the camera is in, ro in relation to the other points on the grid. Um, and that, that's obviously lower than the other ones. You see, that's obviously lower than keyframe 30 and keyframe 90. So I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to go ahead and just, oops, i got to insert a keyframe. I, L-O-C-R-O-T, to, to re-insert uh, the keyframe. I'm going to choose G to grab it. Let's move it up. Level it out just a little bit. There we go. Are we on? Yes, we are. I'm going to choose I, and we're, gonna, we're good. Okay. Uh, so let's move out to keyframe 90. See if there are any adjustments we need to make there. 
looks okay. And uh, we'll go to keyframe 120. See if there are any adjustments that need to be made there. All right, it looks fairly good. Let's go back to uh, keyframe one and hit play and see what happens. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so in between keyframe 90 and keyframe 120, I'm gonna go to keyframe 90, let's watch. Watch what happens when I play the animation. It takes a straight line from here to here. Not really what we want, because we've got a nice curve going all the way around, and you really kind of want to maintain that distance, and you want to create a better arc there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move out about halfway through. I'm going to choose, once again, the I key, location, rotation. I'm going to grab that keyframe. Let's pull it back a little bit. Let's get it right where we want it. All right, I'm going to choose I, then L-O-T-R-O-C. Now, I, in order to get these olive-colored lamps up, I hit the K key. And when you hit the K key, if you select an object and hit G, you can't just gra grab objects because you're in keyframe mode. You have to create a new keyframe to actually grab it, or you have to be working with a keyframe. So you're not really working with objects when you hit the K button and you have all these olive-colored um, references up. Uh, you're working with keyframes and what I'm doing is I'm creating keyframes and I'm just managing where the keyframes are okay so let's go back to keyframe 90 and let's see how the animation looks now I keep kicking over to the 3d desktop there it is a little better okay so now I'm gonna go to keyframe 1 and let's look at our animation now and see how it looks through the eye of the camera looks good looks good looks good it's getting better okay um, so what we've done is it, it was a little bit faster at one point see in between here and here that's 30 keyframes but the distance is so far between them that the camera has to zoom so I could um, create you know I could move this keyframe over a little closer and by keeping the distance even at 30 keyframes each you know you get a nice smoother speed but as a result right now this the distance between this lamp, this camera and this camera uh, is almost twice as much as the distance between this camera and this camera therefore the motion is twice as fast okay so what we covered in this lesson was uh, the K button basically if I hit K I'm now no longer in keyframe mode we no longer see our keyframes and uh, that's that's what it's all about you hit the K key to manage your keyframes and work with them so that concludes lesson five. If you're in my class, the goal is to have a nice, even 360 degree rotation around the cube. Okay? Thanks for watching, and uh, keep an eye out for more lessons.